Pterodactyl here. Here we are for part two of the Baja mini bike build. You like the way I'm laying here posing for y'all? Don't I look sexy? All right. I got this frame all cleaned up and I started looking at this real close and look at this. Look at this engine mount. This is just sheet metal. This ain't strong enough for that 10 horse to come ish I'm gonna put on there. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna cut this plate out and then I'm gonna weld me in a new plate. And then I'm gonna keep it bare like this because when I put my torque converter and get my engine all built and I need to line up my sprockets and everything, then I'm gonna punch my holes in there because I only need four holes to hold that motor down. This don't have to be slotted because I make my chain adjustment here because I'm putting that torque converter on there. So make sure you wear safety glasses if you're gonna do this. And there's your dinner. Hey, Mr. Cameraman, the project's over here, not on that Craftsman tractor. Okay, I got that plate all cut out and I got it all the old welds ground off. I'm gonna get ready to weld in my 3 16ths of an inch thick engine plate over this cardboard one they put on there. Now that old engine mounting plate had this on there and that's to help support that uh, torque converter or that jack shaft setup they had on there. Well I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a new one of these to support that uh, jack shaft part of the torque converter part. I had to round off my corners a little bit to get it fitted in there. And then what I'm gonna do is to make sure it's nice and square and level, I'm gonna put a straight edge across here and make sure this plate is right up even with that straight edge I got across there. And then I'm gonna tack it, then I'm gonna go up to the front and do the same. Can you see me? I am a robot. I am a robot. Okay, I got it all packed in. And it's all nice and level all the way across. So now I'm going to go ahead and weld it in. Okay, got the plate all welded in. Solid. And I ground it all smooth because I want it smooth. And there's gas tanks all sealed up. I got it primered and bondoed. All I gotta do is wet sand it some and I'll put the finish coat on it. And here's the tires. I bought new tires. Look at them skins. Them are some pretty skins. I like them. Kenda Road goes. I'm gonna put them on there. I hear that they ride nice and smooth. So now we gotta put the engine and torque converter on and line it up and drill the holes. And then, you know, mount the battery and hook up tail light and all that stuff. We're gonna do this all in stages. Part one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, however many. So let's go over here, cameraman. Here's the Tecumish 10 horse, all rebuilt. New New crankshaft, new connecting rod, piston, valve job. I built this custom manifold. I took off the original manifold. Where's that original manifold? Where is that thing? That big bulky thing. What the heck did I do with that manifold? This thing. This was the original manifold that went on there. I took that off. Got that sweet straight pipe on it. Isn't that a street sweet pipe? Look at that custom pipe on there. I ain't putting that stupid pipe on there. That's just for testing. This is my test frame. You might have seen this in my Terrell's toys. Or Terrell's tools rather. I'm sorry. Terrell's tools. We just use this to mount engines too so we can test them. So here let's fire up this 10 horse.
sweep anybody with this 10 horse down there. Got that custom exhaust. Oh, I already said I ain't using that. I'm going to build a custom exhaust. That's going to be another part. Sounds like I need to tweak that carburetor a little bit. Let me get in there. Ah! 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 Pipe is hot! Pipe is hot! Pipe is hot! Ah! 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 Wow, that was smart, man. Oh, look at that. Is he bit me? He bit me good. Bad. Bad engine. Bad engine. Alright, well here's my custom uh, throttle plate. Eh. Custom throttle plate I built here out of an old, another throttle plate. I had to make this custom to work for this manifold pipe. And then I'm going to build a custom exhaust. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to put the torque converter and that on and we're going to take the engine off and, and start mounting it and lining it up on that Baja mini bike frame. Stay tuned! It's been a couple weeks since I burned myself. It's almost all healed up. Okay, now I got the engine on the frame of the Baja mini bike. And I got my sprocket. Now we gotta line this up. So I got me a big straight edge. And looky here, I got it all lined up with straight edge so we know it's nice and straight. So now I gotta mark and drill the holes to mount the engine. And what I did for that is I use this. You know what this is, don't you? It's one with 30 brick, 30 brick of hams. This is that piece that goes in there. This is good card stock for making templates. So what I did is I made a template. So now I got the engine all in and I got it lined up and then I took a Sharpie and I marked it. I marked the engine with a Sharpie, took the engine out, took my template that I made, laid the template on the frame, mark the holes, then I use my transfer punches. Remember the transfer punches? Get these at Harbor Freight. And then I center punch the holes. Then I took a little lead drill, made sure they were nice and centered. Little like 3 16 uh, lead drill. And then I drilled them out for a clearance hole for 5 16 So this motor is bolted in. I got it bolted down. I already drilled the hole. It's lined up. So now we're almost ready to take this for a ride. And then we're going to, you know, move on from there. And then I'm going to show you how to, uh, we're going to make a custom exhaust. I'm going to do something with this fender. I don't like this fender. I'm going to make something custom. Uh, I got some custom controls we're going to put on there. But next I'm going to put the clutch and everything on, put the chain on, put some gas in my tank. And uh, we're going to take this for a ride. Oh yeah, one other thing. This seat. The seat was all busted. I don't know if you have the same problem with your seat. This little tab here that goes under here was busted. This bracket that goes on the back here was ripped through. It was all cracked. So I glued it with this glue I got. I got this real good glue. I'm going to show it to you. It's almost like a liquid plastic. So I pulled all the staples out except on one side so I could peel this back. I left one side stapled in. See, I used that glue. I even glue, put a little glue on those rubber stoppers so they wouldn't come out. And then I made out of some some flat stock because this was the original part but it ripped through here so I made a piece to go here and I made one to go underneath and we'll stick that on so this is going to reinforce this you can make this too and I got the nuts and we'll tighten this all down and then this tab broke in the front. So I took a piece of angle iron, some flat stock, same thing. I welded this. So this is going to go here. 
And this is going to go in from the inside. I welded it, painted it. And then I'll put the other bracket on the back, bolt it down. I'll put the foam back in and I'll staple it all back together. And here I fix the seat. I could buy a new seat, but why? I'll just fix this one. This one's still good. It just was broke. Let me show you that glue I used. Here's this adhesive I used, this glue. It's made by Velco Cincinnati. It's called HV350. I use this stuff on a lot of stuff. It works good on plastic. It works good on those John Deere hoods. You got to let it dry though. It takes about a day for it to dry. And then you can layer it. You can put a, a layer on and then let it dry and then put another layer on and make it stronger. Sand it too. Sand the plastic a little bit. But this works good on plastic. It's like liquid plastic in a tube. I buy this stuff by the case. Hey there, got the motor all mounted, got the torque converter on, chain on, I got the throttle hooked up, kill hooked up. We're going to take it for a ride before we go any further because part three we're going to do the exhaust, part four we're going to do all the electric, hooking up the electric starter, mounting the battery, hooking up the lights, brake light, tail light. Here's one other thing I forgot to mention I added on this torque converter. I added a support back here. I got it tacked for now, so when I pull it apart to paint it, I'll go ahead and weld that down. I got to make chain guard yet, a few other things, but at least we could ride it. So let's ride!